Hey everybody, it's Tia at B5 Designs. Thanks for stopping by my channel. I came on, I did a little, very small Walmart haul. I had to go out there. My dog has been kind of sick. He's been like throwing up, but I don't know. I think he has a stomach bug and I read online to give them pumpkin. And so I went and got a couple cans of pumpkin to see how he does. I mean, he's getting better, but um, it's just been the last day. So I wanted to try that before we um, do anything else. He's still running, jumping, barking, playing, doing all that. He just throws up and I'm like, what the heck is going on? Um, so anyway, um, I also had watched a video of... I think it's Sweet Crafty Girl is her name and she showed some um, things that she picked up at Walmart. She does a lot of journaling and so I wanted to pick some stuff up and then somebody and I can't remember who it was. I don't, I, I get upset when I don't remember who it was, but they had talked about foam board. The foam board at Walmart is a a little bit better than the foam board at Dollar Tree. Well, I had already gone and bought and some at Dollar Tree. So, but I thought, well, I'm going to try, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the foam board at Walmart. Now this is, um, I'm trying to, I want to see the size so that I can tell you if I can find it on here. This one is 20 by 30 inch. I'm not sure of the thickness, but I want to do some, and it is pen and gear. I know it's upside down, but that's the brand. I don't think, I don't know how much it was. I want to say it was like 98 cents, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But, so I went ahead and got it in white. And then they also have it in black. Now the black is a little bit more expensive. I think it was like two something, but it is the same size and it is acid free, blah, 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 blah. It's smooth. So I did pick that up for some shakers. I say this in every video, my crafting is a hot mess. I'm trying to figure out what I can do to quickly get my act together with it. <laughs> Cause I need to get in here and craft. So the other things that I picked up I picked up some of these and I know I picked up some the other day. In fact, I have them right here at um, Dollar Tree. So I really probably didn't need these. These that I got at Dollar Tree, I believe are not lined where these, oh my gosh, I hope these are lined. Yeah, they are. So I thought they were different colors. They are different colors, maybe. The, I don't know. Yeah. Now I feel bad that I picked. They're not very thick, I'll tell you that much. But these are the Walmart ones, and they were like 97 cents, and you get 100. And they are lined. And I probably have index cards up the yin yang, but. And the one, the these are the ones from Dollar Tree. So the you do get a little, the colors are a little bit different, and they are ruled. They it it did say that they were ruled. I thought so. I don't know. Like the colors are just a little bit different. So I feel like that makes it okay. <laughs> it really doesn't, but. So yeah, a little bit more colors to do. And then I picked up, I was really excited about these. Um, the like grid, they're graph ruled on both sides. And I don't know, she like she, Crafty Girl said, you know, she could probably tea dye them or whatever, but I think you could even just color over them in a, in a lighter marker if you wanted to or whatever, make it look like watercolor-ish. And then I picked up these, and these are ruled tabbed index cards. Probably now that I look at them, it's okay that they're ruled, but I don't really need ruled. But I thought they'd be kind of cool to make, you know, tabs 
on part different parts of your um, junk journal or whatever but if you weren't going to write on it and you were just doing it for decorative pur purposes you could cover that up and just leave the tab or you can put your tabs at the top and so this has kind of the same colors color scheme so I was happy to get those and they do come in a nice um, you know the packaging that they're in is kind of nice and thick so storage wise it's not going to tear on you easily it's a nice good packaging it's not like going to rip as easily so that's kind of nice and there's just 46 in those so we'll see or 48 what I do with that and then I just went over and kind of looked in the Christmas section I usually do kind of like a gingerbread tree a small one every year I don't know I haven't even decorated really for fall you guys I'm just not into it but um I did pick these up I got some that I liked at uh, Hobby Lobby but I don't want like the glass ones so they do have some glass ones there too but I picked these up it's kind of hard because my husband was with me and he like scrutinizes everything I do bugs me and then I just got these because I think I'm going to use them in scrapbooking and junk journaling I think because um, they're a good thickness so like sometimes when you get them at you know Michael's or Hobby Lobby or you know different places they're not they they are thinner so they will break easily these are not gonna break but they're so cute cute little reindeer so that's it you guys today I am going to try to do some die cutting and get some of that kind of stuff done and some um, I'm feeling fairly good today so I'm gonna try to get some of that stuff done I'm doing laundry I did some cleaning in my room a little bit yesterday and so I'm going to do, want to do some stamping and die cutting today. And so if I get any of that done, I will come back and share with you. So thanks for stopping by and I hope everybody has a great Sunday. Bye.